This is an update on the Petrodynamics Trans Wing, a really interesting folding wing VTOL aircraft. Now, introduced this um, a few months back when we were just getting started with our Dupilot support and we'd just built the real flight model for it. Um, since that time, it's actually been flying very nicely on the real vehicle. And you can see the Petrodynamics YouTube channel for some uh, nice videos, including one flying in uh, rather heavy snowfall. Um, so in this, this case, I'm just going to update, uh, give an update with it flying in the simulator and show some of the new flight features. So as I mentioned, it's a folding wing aircraft. So in its folded configuration, it has um, very good VTOL control, very good authority. And uh, so it's quite wind resistant and uh, really flies very nicely as a, a multi-rotor. So it then folds the wings out into forward flight for efficient forward flight. And uh, so what we're going to do, just to start with, I'm going to do an autonomous mission. So we've got a little mission here, just a rectangular mission, VTOL takeoff, come around here, come in for a landing um, and uh, land vertically back at the, the starting point. And uh, you'll see some of the new features that I'll describe as we're going around. So we've, we're going to uh, pop it into auto mode and we're resetting the mission. So we're going to arm it and uh, let it go on its way. So notice it's a very fast takeoff, much faster than before. So it actually starts unfolding it, its wings at one and a half meters above the ground, which really minimizes the, uh, the battery usage. And then it, it climbs on its way out towards the first waypoint. And it's now coming around um, this first leg and it's uh, up to a speed of over 30 meters a second. This can really move this aircraft. It's got a lot of power in fixed wing flight. Now on the, the back leg here, um, we're just making way up to the, this waypoint. At this waypoint in the uh, northeast corner, just after that waypoint, I've got it set up to uh, start engaging flaps. Now this aircraft doesn't physically have flaps but it's able to use the folding of the wing to simulate flaps. And you'll see that starting to engage in just the next second or two as it comes around that corner. And there it is. We've now folded the, uh, the wings there and it's now coming in for the landing approach. I've got it as quite a low approach, again, minimizing battery usage. So it comes in uh, along the runway there and then it's going to do the back transition and then vertical landing. So it's coming in towards the transition point, and there it goes. And it's now lining up with position, a little bit of repositioning there to get directly above the landing point before it starts descending. And then it starts descending down. And I've got it set to a quite slow descent. Um, you can, of course, make it descend a bit faster if you like, but uh, I like a nice uh, soft touchdown. And uh, so it'll then land on the runway back where it started and it'll then disarm the motors. So really very good authority. The, um, the flight control is a lot better than what I showed uh, a few months back when we were just starting on this. And uh, this is using the, a mixer implemented using the Lua scripting layer of Pilot. So essentially all of the wing folding and the um, control of the, the gain scheduling that's done as it's doing the folding wings because of the repositioning of the motors is all done using a ArduPilot onboard Lua script, which is embedded inside the flight controller. All right, so I'll pop it into um, Q loiter mode now and I'll just show it uh, flying around manually. So um, pop it up there. I've got a, my transmitter here. Um, set up and so I can get it up in the air and then we will transition it to forward flight. So pop it into forward flight and you see that beautiful transition where it's, I really like the way the, the wings swing like that, uh, nice and smooth. All right, so there it is flying in forward flight. While it's in forward flight mode, we can again, just using the trans, a, a knob on the transmitter, I can do the simulated flaps. So what I'm doing there is um, uh, slowly uh, folding the wings a little bit and that if I lowered the throttle will allow me to get some quite slow flight speeds. 
All right, bringing it around and very controlled flight, this aircraft really has very good control. And I'll unswing the wings, which means disengaging flaps from the point of view of Pilot, and then uh, bring it back down and bring it around a little bit. So what I'm going to do now is tell it to RTL and land. So if I bring it into RTL and let it do its thing fully autonomously now. So I'll, uh, I'll set it up here so it's got um, sound again. And so what it'll do now is it's heading towards a landing point. So in this particular case, I've set up the RTL to use the pre-planned mission. So it's actually going to do the same landing approach as it did the first time. So it looked for a do land start waypoint to find the landing approach. You could instead use QRTL, uh, which is the new in 4.1, the where you can do a QRTL from a long distance. But in this particular case, what I'm doing is the um, uh, pre-programmed landing. Um, and so what it's got there is bringing in the flaps again and then lining up with the, with the runway. Coming along there, looks a bit like a gull there, uh, where it's uh, sort of spreading its wings. All right, then coming up to the transition point. There it is, doing the transition. Very similar to the first time. A little bit of repositioning there. And then coming in for the landing. Alright, so that's the Petrodynamics Transwing. Uh, do also have a look on the videos on their YouTube site. Really interesting aircraft. It's been uh, fascinating working with the people from Petrodynamics to, to get this aircraft supported in Pilot. And uh, yeah, wish, uh, wish you all the best and happy flying.